What is going on everybody today? Stud City here in my Lego room and we have a massive package here today. You can't even hear it, but there's a ton of great stuff inside. And I first wanna say this video is sponsored by Webricks and we're gonna be doing an entire review, unboxing, analysis on Webricks. So Webricks is a company who provides Lego alternative bricks uh, that is gonna be completely 100% Lego compatible, which I think is very interesting at a very comparable price. And we're gonna probably go into that later in today's video after our unboxing and then playing around with some of the parts just so you guys get an idea. Uh, I find their selection of bricks was immense uh, and the rates were quite significant and they do run sales quite often, which is something you don't see from Lego. Uh, so I wanted to do a full review of the pieces, but first we're gonna have to go ahead and open it from these guys. Uh, but I do wanna say a huge thank you to Webricks. This is an awesome package, I'm excited. I'm going to be using these pieces in my Lego city and they are going to be significant. So whether or not we like them, they are going into our Lego city. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna like them. I, I've been talking uh, to one of the reps for quite some time uh, on, this, on this haul and I'm, I'm pretty confident in them. And I'm very excited for this package because I, I you know, I love to see an alternative. Uh, you know, there's not, there's nothing to hurt here. So uh, I'd love to see an alternative from Lego because, you know, it's, it's awesome to see, right? Uh, one of the big things I'm going to say guys is we see these companies, right? And they take Lego model kits and they reciprocate the builds. For example, they'll build uh, Ninjago City, which is a very expensive expensive retired Lego modular building, uh, and they will remake it with cheap bricks and an alternative and cost, uh, you know, way cheaper than a retired Lego set. Webricks does not do that. And that's where they really caught my eye. And I, that's why I wanted to give them the shot. They're really reaching out to A-Falls like me, probably like yourself, to in the mock community, which is what we're doing with our Lego City. Uh, we're making mocks, right? So I think that's, that is why I was so drawn to this company. And I think the rep did a very good job portraying that to me. It made it loud and clear. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this package. Okay guys, this is such a big package. I'm going to have to stand up just to get it open uh, and try not to share some private information. So <laughs> it is sealed quite well. Uh, this company is from China. I'm not sure the actual exact city off the top of my head, but I will link a whole description about them uh, in the description below, as well as a link to get pieces uh, from these guys because they offer quite, amount, quite a significant amount of pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out just like that. <laughs> We're gonna go through absolutely everything. I'm already pretty excited because there's just such a high quantity over here, guys. And uh, I, I really wanna get a nice trial and some comparison. The first thing we are going to open is dun, 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 base plates. So I'll spoil it. You can see it. We're going to open these base plates. I love the how everything's wrapped pretty much individually. Um, and the size is going to replicate Lego, right? This is supposed to be a compatible brick. And uh, that's, that's their goal, right? A compatible, cheaper alternative. So I'm going to grab a Lego base plate that I have behind me. So the size slash dimension is exactly the same. So I'm trying to get it very even. <laughs> so it's exactly the same. Uh, let's do a bend test. I'm gonna be quite honest. They bend about the same, make the same noise. You can't hear it, I can hear it. They make the same noise bending. Um, they feel quite literally the same. So I, I, this is going to be a full breakdown, guys. If it's going to bore you, I apologize. But I want I want to take a deep dive in this and look at everything possible because this company, Webricks, they really fascinated me. They did the rep. Olivia worked so great with me. So I was I'm very excited for this video. So this is going to be fully in depth, uh, and I hope you guys are excited. And if you are, subscribe because this is fun. <laughs> they they really do. I'm being truthfully honest, guys. These plates feel the exact same. Uh, they look the same. Of course, uh, they are not stamped Lego, but these are Webricks. So Webricks, this is their brick. And uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that so far. So one for one, one for one. Uh, I wish I do have some Lego bricks over here. I am going to... Okay, so I just placed a Lego Technic brick down on a Webrick plate, base plate. And I'm bending it quite significantly. It's not popping off. There you go. Let's try that on a Lego blue base plate. 
Jeez. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. This is, I'm, I'm interested. I'm so interested. Okay, let's go ahead and get into <laughs> the first bag of goodies. Okay, so, okay, little background story. I've been working on a Lego bridge for my, uh, you know, train to roll around my stud city, right? And I have been having a difficult time getting pieces from Lego and um, a difficult time constructing a Lego bridge. And I think this is going to be our alternative. So, okay, here we go. This is all a bag of the same piece. Oh. Sorry, I dropped a ton. So these are going to basically be a Technic alternative. So these black ones are from Webricks and this white one is from Lego. Now, if you may notice, they're the exact same piece. Let's look at the studs. Those are the exact same piece. Um, let's see how they stack once on each other. I'm, 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 guys. I, I, this this company has me really, really excited. They work well with Lego, and that that is their goal to provide alternative to Lego. So, this I'm I'm gonna give this a go for our main bridge. I'm going to give Webricks the opportunity here in a separate video. We're gonna be constructing a Webricks bridge for our Lego city. Uh, so we have a ton of these pieces. Okay, we have a ton of these guys for our bridge, uh, and I think I, I'm I'm excited. Those are gonna work quite quite well now the other piece we got you can see in this bag right here these are going to be one by four technic pieces uh they look just like you know the lego style brick these are going to go into our bridge design Let's see what else we got technic pins technic pins whole baggie of them i believe i ordered like 70 or so uh, which honestly i'm reflecting on it and i i do hope it's enough so let me go ahead and shove one of these in here and on this side see the bendability there you go. So Technic is, you know, supposed to be super strong. This is strong stuff. So, okay, I'm, I'm excited for our bridge. Uh, and then in this little baggie in black here, we have some one by twos. Let's go ahead and take one out and give a little trial and error on a Lego plate as well as the Weebricks plate. So here we go. So this is going on a Weebricks plate, nice and flat. And let's go ahead and put one down on a Lego plate. So there it is on a Lego plate, flush, just like any other uh, Lego one by two plate that you put on there. And this is on our Wee Bricks plate. So I'm going to say this works quite well. And I'm just taking it off with one of these Lego separators and no issues. I'm, I'm pumped guys. I don't know if you can tell, I'm pretty excited. I'm trying to get a full analysis of this. There's so many pieces to go through. Uh, we're gonna do just that in today's video. So that, that is exciting. I want to put these, I don't really have a bag for these or anything, but uh, all of these are going to be in the construction. All these technical pieces, they're all going to be the construction for our bridge, our main design there. And then we, we have so many other parts to test out and go through. Uh, so let's just keep this montage going um, and get a complete analysis here. Uh, these are going to be our two by four bricks in a light bluish gray. Uh, I guess a significant thing here is going to be to test the color. You know, just in case you're mismatching these, these are the one by two Lego tiles. And here is the two by four Wee Bricks uh, brick. And uh, it <laughs> color matches perfectly. And I'm able to pull the Lego piece right off of it. So A plus efforts there. I got a handful of those to use in our construction. That's all good. Let's see what else we got in here. We got, whoa, okay. Some of these, I think these are 16 by 16. Uh, red, dark red is brown plates, not base plates, plates. Uh, so these are gonna, these are gonna work pretty well. Uh, now I'm going to say these do feel pretty, pretty comparable. So I would say, cause I, I'm pretty used to feeling these for making floors and levels for a a building and uh these are these are quite comparable as well next on our list is we ordered some red one by four technic bricks this is again going into the construction of our bridge so you're going to see that later like a full use uh in a later on video so for now we're, we're kind of just getting through this um we also got four by or no yeah four by four dark bluish gray plates 
for the construction of our bridge. Uh, again, a lot of these pieces that, you know, I, I ordered these in, in design for our Lego bridge, uh, which is going to now be our Webex bridge, which just because I think it's just going to be easier. Uh, and you have these inverted tiles for the bottom. Uh, I think that's a good design. There you go, sticks right good. Pretty sweet. So very comparable. I'm, that's that's my biggest takeaway here, guys, is how comparable this is. And there's our one by two with a Technic hole. Again, what do you know for the construction of our bridge? And then our one by 16s, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, I think those are one by 12s. So Technic bricks as well. And then we got in dark bluish gray, the two by four bricks, which was comparable to our dark or our light bluish gray ones as well. So let's go ahead and move some of these pieces out of the way and continue on and see what else we got in this absolutely amazing haul. Uh, and then one more small bag I missed right here is going to be two by four bricks uh, in the color black. So you can see those are stacked quite nice, uh, just like Lego and Pretty easy stuff. I always find it hard to separate these, but there you go. Awesome outlook. So we got those in three different colors, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, and black. Uh, and these colors are matching and going to line up with our Lego ones quite nicely. All right, next, 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 next. So I thought of a cool little design for our bridge piece. We're gonna put these on the edge of it. Uh, it this, these are pretty cool. They're like a lion's head. I don't know if you can tell, make it out. Again, you're gonna, we're gonna see more constructability here very soon, uh, but I'm, I'm glad to secure those pieces. Those are gonna look awesome. Uh, and then I was also gonna throw this like a derailed train or something, make something out of it. <laughs> it's a the train and front piece. So I grabbed one of those just because I thought it would provide some value. Uh, we also have some very clear window plates. I won't I won't open these yet. I'll, I'll decide and hold these for when we open them, but. The translucent pieces match quite nicely. Um, actually, we might be able to go ahead and open one. They're the wrong size, oops. Uh, door frames in dark bluish gray. I just opened these from a Lego package and exact same thing. Uh, two by tens in this navy blue color. I don't mean, I don't know the exact colorway on this, um, but I, I know I just had a, pit, a pad wall from Lego. And this is the exact same color, so that's why I got them. 1x16s comparable to, uh, these are 1x14s, I'm sorry. One is Lego, one is not Lego. Can you tell the difference? You tell me. <laughs> you tell me, guys, please, you tell me. Um, there you go. You can't, these look the exact same. And functionability, functionability uh, you're gonna operate in the exact same way. And they're comparable and compatible. So if you can get a cheaper price, I'm saying go for it, right? Like, I'm all for it. Another window piece. Okay, now next, we're opening a slightly big package over here. This is something that they were so awesome sending me, guys. Uh, these are so, so expensive uh, from the Lego group. And I believe Webrix offers them at such a great valued price uh, that I wanted them to send me some of these so we can test out and I'm pumped. They did. They sent a bunch of them. <laughs> so uh, we're going to design our bridge and have, you know, rock type and then work, work our way off of it and whatnot. So they sent us these in two different colors. And I, wa I really wanted to get this to you guys to bring some value because this is a cheaper alternative. It really is. Instead of buying off Bricklink or even, I believe if they're on the lego.com website, this is a cheaper alternative. I'm suggesting you give give them a chance check out their website go through their pieces get a price analysis i'm going to link their uh, all their websites and information you need oops all the information you need to order in the description below uh just to give them a shot so again we're getting a bunch of these i forget the exact term for these uh awesome pieces are but they're, they're awesome we're going to use the crap out of these that's what i'm most excited for is because we actually have pieces to work with at a reasonable price. So I'm trying to grab all of them that we ordered. There you go, there's another one. So that would be one, two, three, four, five in dark bluish gray, and then five in the dark tan. Great Lego piece. We, we bricks coming in hot. Okay, next on our list is more plates. 
Uh, these are going to be in the dark red. So these are gonna be four by six plates. Again, we're gonna be using these for our bridge design. You guessed it. <laughs> our, our bridge is going to be epic and it's, it's awesome. Uh, more plates here. These are gonna be, I think these are two, four, six by six plates in dark bluish gray. Again, color matches. Uh, we have one by 16 Technic um, bricks. Those are awesome. I ordered a bunch of these from the Lego group and now I'm looking at bricks and it's the exact same piece, just at a discounted price. So this is epic guys. And then more pieces for our, you know, mountain area that we're building around our bridge. Check these out. These are freaking awesome. I love these dark bluish gray. Gonna go so nicely with these and be able to make a nice little design uh, around that. <laughs> I'm just, this is going. This is going to change our Lego room. It really is. Uh, I'm probably gonna get started working on this right away. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this uh, in the comments below. And then one more piece that is a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit taller, but definitely something to add. I'm gonna send us a whole nice little pack of those uh, to get us started. So. So a small little overview of our hall because there's so much, guys. Uh, this this is incredible. We are going to be building our train bridge that is going to be placed right over here. That's going to go from this span all the way across. We're going to give this a go. Uh, and if you, for some reason we don't have enough pieces, we're going to do this small span on that side because we still have to do that over here, uh, which is exciting because two bridges. And I, I'm going to be completely honest. This looks like enough pieces to complete both bridges. And that's what has me even more excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have constructed our Webricks bridge. Now I couldn't, I didn't have enough pieces to do the door span one, but <laughs> this is a long bridge and I will get a ruler out and measure this. Uh, but I'm thinking at least 30 something inches. It's almost as big. I didn't realize it as the other one that we're going for, but it's just a little bit smaller and it gave me enough pieces to double down and build this thing pretty awesomely uh check this thing out it is quite durable as well and let's get our train there we go there we go okay stop <laughs> now i i didn't do this part very well um i i will have to go back and do that i'm just kind of wanted to focus on the bridge for today but basically i have to get a steady way up so the train can go up just that little bit oh, which is what two bricks and a plate high uh, from the train track. So I have to build a steady way up uh, that'll slowly build up. That way the train can go at fast pace and just move along. But again, we're mainly focusing on the bridge and there you go. It is pretty flawless, I would say. Like that's right in the middle and it really doesn't bend. I know we've had comments in our previous bridge that we did for the Lego and said, that's a lot of bend. This one is just quite firm. Now I am going to say uh, doing one brick uh, and having those Technic pins in it was quite flimsy still. And I don't think it would have been doable with just those. So I went ahead and if we take a look at the bottom, added some extra support, but I did not add Technic pins in there. It's basically just a brick system on the bottom. And that gave us the leverage to hold our bridge quite nicely. Uh, there is room for improvement right like i need to put some base plates down and get a nice paved way up and after we get that this thing is i'm gonna call it complete but it needs some work right just on our way up and our way down but our bridge is complete and i'm quite content with it uh, i love how sturdy this is uh, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed guys that is gonna do it to our review our unboxing and a small review for today's bricks uh, sponsored by Webrix. Uh, these, these are awesome pieces. Uh, they are compatible. What I'm doing is, uh, is difficult. It's completely out of my realm. It's out of my realm for Lego and it's out of my realm for non-Lego bricks. I'm really pushing myself to build a bridge to hold my Lego train, uh, that's going to go around my city and, uh, Webrix for giving me an alternative brick to test out and try this. Um, I have, I now have a bridge complete on this side with minor work to work to wake, work our way up to our bridge. Uh, that's all that's going to be needed. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty ecstatic for that. Now we do have one other bridge we still have to construct and, you know, play around with. That's going to take some time to complete our train around our entire city. Uh, but I am more than happy to say that this, this bridge, I love the design. Uh, it's exactly where I want it. I don't think 
I will be making much adjustments to it. Uh, if I will, I'll probably do a part two video. Uh, I, I'm ecstatic. The other thing, we're going to do a two part video. We're also going to do some uh, mountain sceneries with all those pieces we break supplied because those pieces are phenomenal. Uh, and so costly from Lego, uh, but with Rebricks giving us all of these and selling at a discounted price, um, we are going to take that opportunity and make another video uh, here in the new future. That one's going to come with a little bit of time. I really wanted to get this one out uh, just to give you guys a chance to buy some bricks and let me know how they are as well. And if we should continue to do so, I'd love to hear it, your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to go ahead and link in the description below for you the opportunity to purchase some wee bricks. Uh, again, uh, I, I have an affiliate link with them, uh, so I do get a small commission if you guys are purchasing. But I am very curious to see what you guys think of these bricks. I had a blast opening this package up. I had a blast going through these pieces, messing around with them. I still have to work these bad boys into our bridge design, which I'm 110% going to do because this is a awesome looking piece. <laughs> and it deserves to be on our bridge. Uh, I, I'm pretty pumped. Uh, I'm trying to think what other bricks that we had that we didn't use. We really went through just about everything except the mountain stuff uh, that we're going to going to add here in the future. Uh, and then we also didn't use our window panes because I ordered the wrong size on our door frames. I really wanted to test that out, but I ordered the I ordered the wrong size once, and that's that's my mistake. So I do I do put that on myself. Uh, but please give me a review of this video. I I would encourage you to give me feedback for myself. I encourage you guys to give feedback to WeBricks. Uh, I, I think they're a great company and I really love talking to them and the opportunity to do this video. And I hope you guys found it informative, entertaining and insightful because that's the biggest takeaway uh, is to get the AFL community to compare uh, stuff like this. I don't think other channels do this. Uh, they're so, you know, close minded on Lego. And I, I think an opportunity to look upon other bricks, uh, why shouldn't it be? But like, like I was saying, guys, I think it is a great opportunity and AFLs should Look for alternate bricks instead of being closed-minded. I think having an open mind, especially in this hobby, uh, can be a great takeaway because there, there's some good there's some good stuff out there, and I'm definitely putting my thumbs up to Wee Bricks. Uh, this is a great product uh, and is Lego compatible. Now, I'm not saying a way to get away from Lego. I'm not going to say I'm going to get away from Lego. Uh, you know, that's not going to happen. But I do think if I if it comes to, down to the terms, and I want to build some mocks. Uh, an alternate brick. Uh, there, I I really do not see. They really changed my mind. I was I was pretty close minded myself. Uh, they really opened my mind, and these, these are decent bricks. Um, completely compatible. Like I said, the bridge I'm making is completely out of my realm, and something I'm testing out. And I think this was a great experience to test out a new brick with. Um, I am gonna say the Technic pieces uh, that I were using, they were a little. Uh, less strong. So they were a little bit less strong than Legos. So I, I wish I had a better clip, uh, but that's why I reinforced it. And you saw the bridge that I held up and it holds up, it holds up just fine. And you see my Lego bridge in my pre previous videos uh, on, on how it, you know, sags quite a bit. Uh, it's comparable. It, it truly is. Uh, I think the Technic pins from Webricks, uh, they do a good job as well. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty content. I, again, I'm rambling on, but I hope this review sufficed try them out. Uh, you don't have to spend crazy money, but definitely give it a go yourself. And I hope I captured this uh, the best way I can. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Stud City really enjoyed Wee Bricks. Uh, Bricks, we'll see you in the next video. Stud City, out.